The Gates of Europe, Threshold Identities, Graffiti, and the Invention of Ukraine, by Serhii Plaki, is an exploration of the complex history of Ukraine, focusing on its cultural, political, and social evolution. Oh. The book examines how various external influences, including the Mongol invasion, Polish rule, Russian imperialism, and the Soviet Union, have shaped the identity of the Ukrainian people. Plaki argues that Ukraine's unique threshold identity, characterized by its position between East and West, has been a defining factor in its development, and that this identity continues to evolve in response to contemporary challenges. The book begins by tracing the early history of Ukraine, from its prehistoric roots to the arrival of the Slavs in the 6th century. Plaki highlights the importance of the deeper river valley as a crossroads of trade and culture, which facilitated the spread of Christianity and the development of a distinct Ukrainian identity. He also discusses the impact of the Mongol invasion in the 13th century, which brought widespread destruction but also introduced new technologies, trade routes, and ideas that helped to revitalize the region. The author then turns his attention to the period of Polish rule, which began in the 14th century and lasted for several centuries. During this time Ukraine was divided into several administrative units, with some regions becoming part of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Plaki argues that this period of shared rule fostered a sense of shared identity among the various Ukrainian groups, as they worked together to resist Russian imperialism and maintain their autonomy. However, he also acknowledges that Polish rule was often characterized by oppression and exploitation, which contributed to growing tensions between the Poles and the Ukrainian population. The book's central focus is the era of Russian imperialism which began in earnest during the 18th century with the partitioning of Poland. Russia annexed much of Ukraine, including its most populous and prosperous regions, and sought to Russify the population through a variety of measures, including the suppression of Ukrainian language and culture, the promotion of Russian national identity, and the imposition of Russian political and economic systems. Plaki provides a detailed account of the various resistance movements that emerged in response to Russian rule, including the Cossack uprisings, the Ukrainian national revival of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, and the struggle for Ukrainian independence following World War I. The Soviet era is another key focus of the book, as Plaki examines how the Bolshevik Revolution and the establishment of the Soviet Union further complicated Ukraine's already fraught relationship with its neighbors. He discusses the brutal repression of Ukrainian nationalism under Stalin, the forced collectivization of agriculture, and the Holodomor, the man-made famine that killed millions of Ukrainians in the early 1930s. Despite these efforts, Plokhi argues that the Soviet Union ultimately failed to completely eradicate Ukrainian identity, as evidenced by the persistence of underground cultural and political movements throughout the Soviet period. The book concludes with an examination of contemporary Ukraine focusing on the country's struggle for independence following the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. Plaki discusses the challenges faced by the new Ukrainian state, including economic instability, political corruption, and external threats from Russia. He also explores the role of threshold identities in shaping contemporary Ukrainian politics, arguing that the country's unique position between East and West has made it particularly susceptible to external influences and internal divisions. However, he remains hopeful that Ukraine's ability to adapt and reinvent itself will ultimately ensure its survival and prosperity. Throughout the book, Plokhi employs a variety of sources, including historical documents, archival materials, and contemporary scholarship. He also incorporates numerous examples of graffiti and other forms of visual culture to illustrate the ways in which ordinary people have expressed their identity and resistance to oppression throughout Ukrainian history. The Gates of Europe is an essential read for anyone seeking to understand the complex history and evolving identity of Ukraine.